Welcome back to the channel where we break down complex medical topics into digestible insights. Before we begin, please read our disclaimer in the video description below. This video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Today we're diving into lupus anticoagulant, a name that confuses many because it's neither related to lupus in all cases nor is it truly an anticoagulant in the classic sense. So let's clear the air and break it all down. Lupus anticoagulants, or LAs, are autoantibodies specifically directed against phospholipid protein complexes. They are part of a broader group of antiphospholipid antibodies, which also includes anticardiolipin and anti-beta-2 glycoprotein 1. Despite the name, these antibodies actually increase the risk of clotting, both venous and arterial, by interfering with phospholipid-dependent steps in the coagulation cascade. Clinically, the presence of lupus anticoagulant is associated with a condition called antiphospholipid syndrome, or APS. APS can lead to deep vein thrombosis, stroke, recurrent miscarriages, livedoreticularis, and thrombocytopenia. Lupus anticoagulant can exist in isolation or alongside diseases like systemic lupus erythematosus, but it's also found in individuals without autoimmune disease. Testing for lupus anticoagulant isn't based on a single assay. It involves a series of coagulation tests designed to demonstrate phospholipid dependence. This typically includes a prolonged clotting test like APTT or DRVVT, a mixing study that fails to correct, and normalization with added phospholipids. If results are prolonged and don't correct with mixing, but do correct with phospholipids, it's likely LA. Keep in mind that transient positivity can occur during infections, medications, or after vaccinations. Repeat testing is crucial. To confirm APS, the antibodies must be present on two or more occasions at least 12 weeks apart. Treatment isn't just about having the antibody. We treat based on clinical manifestations. If a patient has had a thrombotic event, long-term anticoagulation is often required. Warfarin is the standard for thrombotic APS. DOACs are controversial, especially in arterial thrombosis or triple positive patients. Aspirin may be used in asymptomatic patients with high-risk antibody profiles. To wrap up, here are the essentials on lupus anticoagulant. It's an autoantibody that promotes clotting, not bleeding. It's detected via functional coagulation assays. It's associated with thrombosis and pregnancy complications. It needs confirmation on repeat testing. And treatment is individualized based on clinical history. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment with questions or future topic requests. Stay curious, stay sharp, and we'll see you in the next video.